Is it as usual? Yep. Whoop. Hello, everybody. Hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. 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 Hello, Hello Dan. <laughs> All right, so this is the, uh, the closing session, um, a long-standing tradition at EclipseCons. And uh, I'm Mike, this is my friend Ralph. Good day. Uh, <laughs> you know, but one day we should change this to a point where Dan introduces us. <laughs> we, <laughs> we've introduced him so many times, he should introduce <laughs> us one day. <laughs> you can do that. All right, so... Um, the, the uh, a little bit of news, the, uh, the uh, program said that this is going to take 45 minutes. If it takes 45 minutes, something has gone desperately wrong. Um, it should be so. more like one and a half hours, right? <laughs> and um, so without further ado, let's kind of just dive into this. Uh, actually, before, no, before I do that, back up a step. Um, who had a good time? Uh, so I called it quits last night at about 1.30 at the Nestor Bar and there was at least still 30 or 40 hardcore people going at it. So put up your hand if you're still there at 3. Oh. You guys are kidding me. <laughs> oh, to be young again. <laughs> you mean like 3 in the morning? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you went to bed really early. You're a good boy. No, I'm, um, I'm a tired but, boy. But <laughs> uh, actually, and but that does, I think that really does ca capture some uh, so, some part of the the mood of this event. I think that's true every year. Uh, for me personally, and I know Ralph and others that are on the staff. I mean, this week is absolutely exhausting for us. Um, we're going full tilt from early in the morning until very late in the evening. Um, but it's also a week that um, we enjoy really, like personally, very deeply. Um, I'm re-energized by the positive vibes that I've, you know, gotten from all of you over the last couple of days. And it's a real treat. Uh, you know, one of the things that we do is we, we do bring a lot of our staff members to, to, to the event. And part of the reason why we do that is first is that they help. Everybody has a role here in terms of um, doing something and supporting the event. But the other thing is that it really helps... Um, all of us and the, and the staff that are working hard, um, you know, back under daily jobs, that actually come out and meet the folks that they're interacting with all the time, um, and, and get that emotional energy from from meeting meet, meeting people and being recognized for the work that they do um, means a lot to to all of us who work at the Eclipse Foundation. So, just a question: Who said who was at three in the bar? Was Mike still there? No. 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 Oh. <laughs> Who was at two in the bar? No. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> we are not doing this. Um, once again, uh, just as I did at the very beginning of the event, uh, it's very important to, uh, to thank our sp You're schnarfing. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> um, the, uh, it's really important to uh, welcome or thank you again to our sponsors. Uh, we would literally not be able to do this event without them, so please, a round of applause and recognition for our sponsors. And uh, once again, uh, again, this is a repeat. Uh, thank you so much for, our, for Dan and all the others, uh, our partners in crime and putting on this event from the OSGI Alliance, and uh, hearty congratulations on your, on your 20th anniversary. That's quite an accomplishment. Congratulations. Actually, Dan, Dan, I love the socks. I want 10 pairs. Huh? <laughs> I think we have. Good. I will go. You, you just have to make sure you, 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 you say OSGI socks really slow. <laughs> you say it too fast. Let's <laughs> <laughs> that, not go you down know, this path, you know. <laughs> there's the... Uh, <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> All right, please evaluate the sessions. Um, and uh, I think there's another slide on it, but I'll, and I'll repeat myself later, but um, please fill out the survey about the, uh, about the conference itself as well. I mean, 
you know, we, we believe that everybody's having a good time. You guys all said you had a good time. Um, last year, I think we had something like 40, roughly 45 respondents. Um, but I mean, if you came here and you had a good time, please take the two minutes it takes to fill out the survey um, about the, the conference as a whole, because it, it really, well, Ralph's bonus, I mean, come on. Yeah, so uh, so <laughs> any, any, yeah, my bonus depends on it. So if you didn't have a good time, don't do the survey, okay? <laughs> no, but it's, it's, re no, uh, it's really, really important. The, the, the speakers love to get the feedback from, um, from the speaker sessions. And we as an organization really value um, your feedback in terms of how we did in executing the overall event. So please provide that feedback. Um, we've been uh, recording all of the events. Uh, they'll be uploaded to our YouTube channel as fast as we can. Um, please subscribe to our U YouTube channel. There's a, there's, um, I, I, every single person I talked to this week said that the program this year was really good, that there's a, there was a ton of great talks. Um, and several people mentioned to me that they felt kind of sad that they couldn't be in two or three places at one time. Well, it turns out, thanks to the miracle of modern technology, you can see the talks that you weren't able to attend. So it's not, not just the miracle of, it's also the miracle of our famous uh, recording crew. We'll get there. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Hi, crew. Hi, crew. Why are you sitting up there? <laughs> I, I bought them beers last night. Did you? Yeah, I did. Me too. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I think they, they, tricked us. they tricked us into something there. Hey. So, uh, we had a edge computing mini hackathon, and the winners are Team Aloxy, then number Team Eurotech, and then three Team Healthcare. So, thank you, Edgeworks and Eclipse IO Fog. Oh, we have awards. We have prizes. We have prizes. So, is Team Aloxy in the building? We got active noise canceling wireless headphones. Would you like to hand it here? Sure. That's a small team. Actually, just, let's, let's get it. <laughs> Come on in. Friends are leaving. Actually, no. And they uh, got their prize, which okay. was a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. All right, Team Eurotech has already been taken care of. And Team Healthcare, come on up and get your 500 gigabyte portable SSD drive. Anybody? There you go. I thought you were working on the Cooksa rover. Now you get the prices here. All right, so did the email arrive? Slack, oh great, so it's probably already on the screen. <laughs> All right, one of my favorite parts of the year is awarding the annual Lifetime Achievement Award for the, uh, for the, uh, Eclipse community. So this is a war, an award specifically designed to recognize people who have not only contributed um, to their projects, but have contributed to the community as a whole. And uh, this year's winner is somebody um, that I've known for quite a few years um, and uh, has worked on a couple of projects, but I can't, there's, there's two projects in particular, but I can't say one without completely giving it away. Um, but uh, has been contributing to the Java development tools for over 10 years, double digit commits to the project over on average for that entire time. Um, has fixed a total of over 1400 bugs um, to, you know, with uh, resol re resolved by him. Uh, has commented on over a thousand other bugs um, and does all of this 
uh, entirely as a personal commitment. He's not, um, he's a community member who is not being paid to do any of this. Um, and uh, on a personal note, I would describe um, Stefan Herman as one of the Come on up, Stefan. But uh, I, I just want to get one sentence in here. Uh, the way I think of Stefan uh, as, a, as, a, as an individual is as he is clearly one of the smartest computer scientists I have ever met but he's also one of the nicest, gentlest, and, and humblest people I've ever met, and it's a, it's a great pleasure to give him this award. Stefan, Stefan. Makes my day. Um, all right, next. Numbers. Ah, the fun numbers, stats. Numbers. All right. Um, I had three beers. <laughs> On the downside, I had yesterday how many scrappers? <laughs> I don't, know. I don't I, remember. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Yeah, Danny Megger, bad influence. Oh. <laughs> um, yes, fun stats. I had more than three beers. Um, I am very, very, very happy to say that we had zero complaints about the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that, that's a lifetime achievement. Yeah, right. I mean, so um, it's, uh, it's, it's, such, it's so markedly better than, than previous years. Uh, it's, uh, it, we're very, obviously very, very happy. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah actually, the forum, the forum actually, did a lot of work. Wait, you have to thank the local community for... No, I, I wasn't sure if he was here, so... He's there, Tobias. Ah! Um, so, I, I mean, I, I'm going to throw this up there, but I, I do demand a citation. Uh, apparently we've had seven billion questions about the new IP policy. Uh, if you have more questions, ask Wayne Beaton or Sharon Corbett. Um, they're happy to, to answer uh, any questions, any further questions you may have. Um, long story short, we have a new IP policy, and it's <coughs> much improved, and we think it's really good for our projects and our committers, and we're very happy about Actually, it. Actually, the seven billion, is it a joke or is it real? Ask Wayne. Wayne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently at Kahoot last night, the number of players who thought that Eclipse Leo was a real project, 87%. <laughs> so, okay, so somebody in the crowd, you, yeah, we know you're coming out with a project proposal in the next little while, now, you're, now you have your name. <laughs> Right? Might be a trademark issue, but okay. No, yeah. I don't think so. It'd be good. Um, actually, so this is very much an international conference, and uh, so this year, this is about 30, 34 uh, countries had sent, uh, sent attendees, um, which I, I think by going by memory is about well, where well, we normally... Well, Mike, the number has grown because on this year's list there was actually Andorra, which hasn't been on there before, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the two people from Andorra were thrilled. <laughs> so the farthest country, uh, 12,000 kilometers from, um, from Argentina. So uh, is the person from Argentina here? Oh, he's on his no, way back. He's on his way back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, liters of beer consumed. Apparently, actually, uh, the, apparently the games last night were a huge hit, um, but, and uh, 
everybody was going much later, not maybe much later, but later than was originally planned, so that's always a really good sign. Right. Actually, for many years, I never understood, is this a fake number or is no, it this, real? No, this is, well, it's an estimated number, but uh, Linda is pretty scientific. Yeah. So also rounded like Wayne's number? Or? Uh, okay. Ish. No, that's not a factorial. <laughs> no, it's not, yes. It, we, we did not drink 617 factorial liters of beer. <laughs> Because you all wouldn't be here. <laughs> this would be a shitload of beer. <laughs> That's a big number. Uh, but no, 606, 617 liters of beer, um, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's not bad. Um, actually, Torkel, come on up. Uh, just uh, want a big, big round of applause and thank you for <laughs> Torkel. Why don't you, you, you take over? <clears throat> So and while I'm shaking Torkel's hand, you other guys should join. Come on up, program committee. Come up, program committee, move. <laughs> we do the usual. Uh, we, we, um, so, we guarantee that you don't have to sit on this bench for a long time today. <laughs> Just thank you very much to everybody who has really worked hard and smart. Actually. This working hard is one thing that comes from the US. It's sort of a Protestant thing. We, we like to work smart. Uh, sorry to say that, but That's thank you for working smart and helping <laughs> us. Yeah, so uh, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I heard nothing but good things about the program. Uh, and uh, it's clear that EclipseCon is uh, an event that attracts a lot of uh, speakers because uh, I think we, we set a new, I don't remember what the exact number was, but we set a new re record, 218, 218 submissions uh, to speak here, and uh, so in, in the end, uh, we were only able to take roughly 40% of the submissions that were sent to us. And it's a downside, we also had a record number and rejected talks. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so thank you so much to the program committee for, for their efforts in getting that done and delivering um, all of us a, a fantastic program to, uh, to uh, come here for, uh, for the week. So, so give them you. one more applause. And it's tradition that we always announce the, uh, the program chair for, for next year, and it's uh, with, uh, we're very happy to announce that uh, Cedric Brun uh, from Obeo. Um, I, I found out last night he, he was smart enough to specifically ask his wife's permission to take on this job. <laughs> so, um, smart man. Yeah. You know, yeah, obviously a very intelligent man. <laughs> no, he was hoping to get, she would say no, huh? <laughs> um, and we mentioned this earlier, but uh, definitely, again, uh, I mean, you're, you folks are welcome to come on down and join us on stage, but uh, thanks so much Make to the amazing moves. video crew. <laughs> no. So now look at these colorful heady, uh, hoodies, huh? Yeah. I don't know who, who actually chose this color. Uh, I, would the, have, I would have chosen purple, Alexa. The, uh, <laughs> no, but it is important to rec <laughs> recognize that uh, um, these folks are taking uh, time away from their busy lives to, uh, to come here to volunteer for the videos. Um, and uh, we literally couldn't do it without them, so um, we really appreciate it, and I hope, I hope you all had a really good time. I'm sure that's why you keep coming back, and uh, the free beer is a small step in the right direction for recognizing <laughs> you for all you did. Thank you. Thank you. you. Okay, so the last bunch to come on up are the foundation staff and our friends from Meat Green who help, uh, help us produce, uh, produce the event. So come on down, and the staff too, come on folks. Perry and... So the, you know, the old saying is, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a small army to produce a conference, so. <laughs> so, uh, 
<laughs> Pano. Panorama. All right, so, so this is the entire crew of people that made this event possible. So if I could ask, please, one more round of applause for all the folks up here. Um, so I, I started off the, uh, the you know the opening my opening keynote uh, where I I play I, I'm going to do it again next year I'm sorry but play the little game where people stand up and how many years have you been here and then um, and then you know sit down and the number of people that have been here for the first time and the the key message that I always say that and it's, it's you know you, you do a shtick every conference year after year after year, but it, it's actually, it, there's, there is a real reason why I do it. And, and that is, is that for all of you folks that were here for the first time, and, and um, I hope you really got a sense um, that this is a wonderful, warm, and very strong open source community. Um, and I hope, you, I hope you come back. And uh, please save the dates for next year, uh, say, almost the same week. And uh, back here once again for what? For the, that'll be the 14th year in a row um, in beautiful downtown Ludwigsburg. So see you again next year. Thank you.